to my session on branding. In this video, I will be discussing the functions of brand from two different perspectives. The first being the customer perspective and the second one is from the company perspective. Brands for consumers and sellers. From the consumer perspective, the first point is the source of product. Consumers can easily make a purchase decision based on brands. Consumers usually find brands which satisfy their need. When consumers are going to a store, they can easily pick the brand if it is from a known manufacturer. The second function is the lowering risk. Brands means lower purchase risk to consumer as they are dealing with a product or organization that they trust. There might be a number of risks which a consumer will come across when he selects a wrong brand. The risks include functional risk, physical risk, financial, social, psychological and time risk. Functional risk arises when the performance does not match up the expectations of the consumer, whereas physical risk is the threat to physical well-being of the consumer. Financial risk is arised when the consumer feels the product or the brand which he buys is not worth. Similarly, social risk arises when the person faces embarrassment because of the brand that he has purchased, whereas psychological risk affects the mental well-being of the consumers, whereas time risk is associated with the opportunity cost, that is the failure of the product results in the opportunity cost of finding another satisfactory product. The third function is less cost of searching for a choice. If the consumers recognize a particular brand name and have knowledge about it, they make quick purchase decisions and save a lot of time. Also, they have search cost for the product. So, if they are going to know the brand, it becomes easy for them to go to the store and pick the brand which they love instead of searching for other brands. The next point is being symbol of quality. Consumers see brands as a symbol of quality and remain committed and loyal to the brand as long as they believe that the brand will continue meeting their expectations and perform in the desired manner consistently. So when the brand name is known to the consumers and they feel that the brand is a trustable one which delivers quality, people will tend to be committed and buy the same brand over years. The last point being a symbolic device. Brands can serve as a symbolic devices allowing customers to project their self-image. Certain brands are actually associated by certain type of people and thus reflect their different values or traits. Consuming such products actually means to consumer that they communicate what they want to communicate to others. It also expresses their personality and how they would be like to be viewed in the public. Now we shall look into the company's perspective. The first one being means of competitive advantage. A brand helps the firm to provide consistently a unique set of characteristics, advantages, services to the buyers and consumers. It is more of how they are able to have an edge over other competitors. The unique attributes or the traits which the brand provides make consumers more happy with a particular product or the brand. The second one is legal protection of products features. A brand also offers the firm legal protection or unique features or aspects of the product. A brand can retail the intellectual property rights giving legal, legal title to the brand owner. Satisfied customer. Customers tend to be satisfied with a brand which they trust. If their company is going to have Satisfied customers, it means that the company is making a good profit. So brand actually represents values, ideas and even personality and hence leads to assortment of memories in their customers mind and hence they feel attached with the brand. Means of profit. The ultimate aim of any business is to make profit and brands help the company to achieve this 
in a very easy way. Brands form the basis of purchase decision among consumers and thus are a means of financial profits. So with this, I complete the functions of brand. See you in my next video on significance of branding. Thank you.